what happened is I was working on the International Harvester uh, in the factory as an electrician. Oh, okay, okay. And um, then I got my electrical license from Illinois and Iowa. And so I had my own business. And one time I had three people working for me, but that's a pain in the butt, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <I> find... <laughs> no, it is. It's yeah. another whole can of worms. Yeah. And it's amazing how much work it takes to keep three people busy. Yeah. Um, and then, um, of course, it was uh, head to house and International Harvester closed. Okay. And I could have went, I could have, I know I, I would have been successful at it, run my own business. Um, but I sat down and thought, well, what do I want to do? And I decided I want to go back to school. So I started putting out resumes and I could have went to Aikens, Aikens? South Carolina, building the Bradley fighting machine. Okay. And then there was another company in Kentucky that wanted me. They built cactus or caskets. Oh. Um, but then General Motors called, and my first question always was, anytime anybody hiring, not how much you pay, but you pay for schooling. Okay. And General Motors said, yeah, we pay for schooling. So I sold my business moved my family and everybody to Michigan and uh, entered school. Okay. It took me 19 years to get my degree. Oh, really? I only took one class as a term. Hmm. And they pay, They just paid? They paid for the classes. What, so what was, when you went to school there, where'd you go to school? Like, what I classes did you start? I started, I was going to get a double E, electrical engineering degree. And, um, so I went to a community college, and I got all the prerequisition pre stuff done uh, at the community college. Tr gonna transfer to Michigan State for engineering. And I got into the humanities, and uh, let's see what I took. What was it? I think it was a philosophy class. And when I got ready to transfer over to Michigan State, I told Barbara, I'm, you know, I'm never going to use this double E. I would, I would never go in to be an electrical engineer. Nah. I, I just wanted it to, to have it. Right. I hate people coming up to me and saying they're smarter than me and this is how it's going to work. Because they have that degree. Because they have that degree. Exactly. <laughs> Screw them. I can get that degree well, I'm, too. Well, I'm just... I'm with you. You know. And... So I decided, well, uh, I'm never going to use it. So when I transferred to Michigan State, I, I went into English. So I have an English degree. Okay. So yeah. you. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Not that I used it. But right. <laughs> it's something you wanted to do. You're interested in it. Right. I've always been a reader. So. Okay. Actually, reading is what saved my life. So. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. I was a real screw up in school. Yeah. School was hard on me. I, of course, yeah. it wasn't until I got into college that uh, I got diagnosed. I'm dyslexic. I didn't know okay. it. You know, back then you were just stupid. Yeah, that's, yeah. You know, right. You're, you're not trying hard enough. You're not, yeah. So. Yeah. No, we even went down that route to even give you uh -uh. a chance to even uh -uh. succeed. No, so. Hmm. Hmm. So never give up on anybody. Seriously. Yeah. And you can do whatever you want. All you gotta do is make up your mind and do it. That's oh, he it. does. <laughs> no, seriously. Well, you are. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> the only way you're gonna fail is when you decide to quit. Yeah. Otherwise. You know, yeah. You may have to bang your head against the door four or five times, but <laughs> stay after it. Like I said, it took me 19 years to get my degree, but I was in no hurry because I knew I wasn't going to change jobs. Because so, you like you loved working at G at General. At, oh yeah, at yeah. GM. Yeah, yeah. So the like I told you, I I love being an electrician. I would do it for three, four dollars an hour. Seriously. Wait, that's how much you got paid. 
No, no, I'm just saying that. Well, uh, well when I first started, when I first started in the foundry, the pay was three seventy five an hour. Three seventy five. Okay. And then they, uh, when I quit, or yeah, when I I went to international, they were paying four and a quarter or something like that. Jeez. Yeah. So you're doing something you loved, and you got paid more to do it. Yeah. So yeah. you'd be happy doing it for what you were making before, because right. it yeah. was just a better. Yeah. Plus, um, the international was more interesting. There was more machines, more complex problems, you know.